black body radiation was a phenomena unable to be described by physicists until about a century ago, a German physicist by the name of Max Planck successfully described it. Planck's description used some very unusual assumptions for its time. That electromagnetic radiation came not in continuous waves, but instead came in discrete energy packets he called quanta. Albert Einstein showed that Planck's assumption could be used to explain the photoelectric effect. He called the little energy packets photons, essentially electromagnetic particles. Particles are localized objects. That means one particle can only be at one space at one time. No matter how hard we try, two particles will never be in the same space. Waves are polar opposites of that. One wave can exist at many points in space, and two or more waves existing in one space is a well-understood phenomena called superposition. It showed that our understanding of light and matter needed to be modified. Enter Louis de Broglie. De Broglie combined Einstein's E equals mc squared with Planck's relation. He went further and hypothesized that all matter, not just light, exhibit both wave-like properties and particle-like properties. De Broglie reached the conclusion that any particle's momentum would be inversely proportional to its corresponding wavelength. What de Broglie's hypothesis mean is that if we know the mass and velocity of any moving particle, we could calculate the wavelength associated with it. For example, an electron moving at about half the speed of light will have a wavelength of about 5,000th of a nanometer, which is pretty small but detectable. A few years after de Broglie's hypothesis was announced, it was confirmed experimentally. Electron beams showed electron diffraction patterns created by a wave. Physicists now know that de Broglie's hypothesis hold true for all matter. It is just one of the many examples of a property called wave-particle duality. Along with other theories, de Broglie's hypothesis birthed the new field of quantum physics. For the last century, it had been our probe into understanding the fundamental nature of the universe and it had brought us a little closer to the holy grail of the complete theory of physics. Thanks for watching. Sadiqa.